Welcome to the Wake Up With Gratitude podcast. I'm your host, Julie Boye, and I'm so excited to welcome you for the month of gratitude, where we'll be doing 30 ways to practice gratitude over the next 30 days. Every day, I'll share a new and different way to practice gratitude that you can try and implement that day. Make sure that you are subscribed or following the podcast to get notifications when the next day's gratitude practice is posted. Each lesson will only be a few minutes long, so if you're joining us in the middle of the month, you can easily go back and catch up on the days that you missed. Let's get started with today's gratitude practice. Hello friends, here we are on the sixth day of our 30 ways to practice gratitude for the month of November. If you're listening to this on the day that it's released, It is the perfect day to do this activity. What I'm suggesting that you do today is to go for a gratitude walk. It's always a good time to get outside in nature and go for a walk. And how do you infuse gratitude into your time outside? First, begin with giving thanks that you can go for a walk. It's easy to take for granted that we can get out of bed, walk around our house, put on our shoes, and go outside for a walk. There was a time in my life where every step was painful. I had an undiagnosed broken bone in my foot for almost eight years, and it hurt to even go on the shortest of walks. Hopefully you don't have to go through an experience like I did to be grateful to simply be able to go out for a walk. Once you're outside in nature, take a moment to get grounded. What do I mean by this? It's as simple as planting your feet on the ground and feeling a connection to the earth. You can do this with your shoes on. You don't have to go barefoot, especially if you're listening to this when the podcast is released in November. I like to repeat my morning mantra in this moment. Thank you for this gift of another day and the opportunity to be of service to others and to make a difference in this world. These few moments when you first step outside help you connect to nature and the world around you. It also brings you back into your body so that you can be fully present while walking through nature. Next, as you're walking outside, I invite you to look for sources of abundance. Abundance and gratitude are very closely related. The more we notice the abundance in our lives and are grateful for it, the more abundance comes into our lives. It sounds really simple, but after doing this kind of work for so many years, I know that it works. This practice can be really helpful if you've been struggling financially or feeling like you don't have enough. When you look around at a tree, there is an abundance of leaves. And if those leaves have fallen, you can see the abundance of leaves on the ground. Notice which animals may be getting ready to hibernate for the winter. You may also notice that certain species of plants or flowers might be doing extremely well in this kind of weather and blossoming for the first time. Listen for the different sounds that you can hear in nature. How many different bird calls? How many different animals can you hear scurrying around? There are so many examples of abundance in nature and it brings us back to the fact that there is an unlimited supply of wealth and abundance in the world. The more we notice the abundance that surrounds us, the more easily it is to find things to be grateful for. So today, as you head out for your gratitude walk, take a moment before you start to give thanks that you can go for a walk. And once you are outside, pause for a moment to get grounded. And as you're walking through nature, take note of the abundance that surrounds you. This strategy can be used at any time. Spending just a few minutes outside using these strategies can help us, especially when we're feeling a lot of big emotions or having a hard time deciding how to deal with the situation. I find that a few moments out in nature in gratitude can help me to shift my perspective and deal with whatever comes my way. This completes today's gratitude practice. Make sure that you are subscribed or following the podcast to get alerted when the next day's lesson is posted. If you're enjoying this experience or learning something new, I'd love to hear from you. You can connect with me through social media or via email by the links in the show notes. I'll be back tomorrow with a new and different way to practice gratitude. See you soon, my friends.